Hello everyone, welcome to this course in which we will be creating a full stack hotel booking web app using Next14, React, TypeScript, Shard CN components with Tailwind CSS for UI, Clark for Auth, Prisma and MySQL database for handling the data, Zustand for handling global state, Uploading for images and we will also be processing payments using Stripe, we will call our application Stay Savvy. And in this particular episode, I want to give you a walkthrough of uh, this particular application and you'll see everything that we will be creating in this particular course. Right here at the navbar, we have this search input where we can search for any hotel. Let's search for this forest hotel right here. I can just say forest and this will filter down the hotels that have forest in their name we have this clear filter that will remove the search from our url uh, another thing is that we'll be able to filter by location so right here i can select a country we will have this drop down which is really awesome so i can say kenya and i filter those hotels that are in kenya and we see it's two of them and you can see right here this is in mombasa this is in Nairobi. Let's say that I wanted the hotels that are in Nairobi, so I can also filter by state and city. So here I select a state, I say Nairobi. So that will give us the hotels that are in Nairobi city. And for city, it will just be Nairobi. Before I clear filter, you'll see the query look like this. So we have city Nairobi, country, KE, state, that, in, that is right, the code for uh, the state. In Kenya, we call them counties. So here I'll click on clear filter and that will remove the filters again and we get back to this. Now on this side right here, you'll see that we'll be able to implement light and dark mode in this particular application. So we can change to light, dark or system. System is the default for your machine. So I'll go with the dark. And then right here, I have this drop down where we have our various links. So we'll be able to add a hotel. We'll be able to see the hotels that I own. And also we'll be able to see bookings that I have made. And those bookings that other people have made on our properties. Right here, we have this icon. And this is for authentication. And again, we'll be making use of Clark for auth. So right here, I'll be able to sign out. And you'll see now we have this sign in and sign up button. And also we don't have those links that I was seeing before because we are not logged in. So if I click on sign up, we'll have this where you can create an account with email and password or you can use Google for all. So I'll come to sign in and I'll sign in with one of my Google accounts. So I am logged in again back right here and you can click on manage account and from here you can actually add an email or change the primary email and so on another thing is that whenever we click a hotel like this we'll be able to see more details about it the location country state city more details about the location more details about the hotel we'll be able to list the different amenities in this particular hotel and also we'll be able to show the different rooms in this particular hotel, their prices and whether we'd like to be offered breakfast or not. Then also we'll be able to pick a date right here. And as you can see, some dates are blocked because they are already reserved or booked. Okay, so we can't uh, like select them. And we are also calculating right here for uh, the different days. So if I click from 27 to 30, You'll see those are three days. It's changing the price. And if I click this checkbox, it will also include the breakfast. Okay. And that will give us the total. Uh, so before we book a, a room, let's see how we can actually create or add a hotel right here in our listing. I'll come right here and I'll click on add hotel. And we'll be able to give our hotel a name. And I'll say mountain. A hotel so maybe it's uh, near a mountain and another thing is that we'll be performing some uh, data validation so if i click on create you'll see we have all these marked as red and we also have the description of the error which is awesome 
so right here we need to have a description so i'll copy that and as you can see whenever i add the description that error is also gone which is cool you can uh, select the different amenities in this hotel so i'll say we have a gym we have a bar a restaurant uh, you can go for bike uh, riding we have movie nights we have a coffee shop we also have swimming pool and free wi-fi and you can also list as many amenities as you want right here so for images i can click on choose an image and i can choose any of the images i'll go with this one and i'll click on open and that will upload the image and you can see you are seeing the progress like that which is awesome uh, image uploaded and then it takes a few seconds before it shows and we see it here we'll also have this x which will actually remove the image from the state and also from uh, upload thing now right here you can select where the hotel is located i can go with afghanistan right there then i can go with this first one right there in the city this first one right there so we'll also be able to create these selectors like that you can give more details about the location in this case i don't know anything about afghanistan so i'll just paste this and i create the hotel once the hotel is created you'll see that we have this message right here one last step your hotel was created successfully but please add some rooms to complete your hotel setup which is awesome and here we have other buttons where we can delete this hotel we can view the hotel so if i click on view that will take us to these more details where we were before but now we don't have any rooms so i go back and right here we have update so we can update something maybe it's not hotel it's a motel and if i click on update that will actually update our hotel and let's add a room just call it jabo room because it has like uh, many beds also i don't want to keep on typing this description so this is now the description for a room uh, what do you offer for this room does it have a balcony it has a mountain view it has a tv it is soundproofed it's air conditioned so you can list the different things in this particular room you can choose an image for a room i'll choose any i'll choose this one open and that will also upload our image to upload thing and then right here you can enter uh, the price let's say it's a hundred dollars to be in this room you can say the bed count let's say we have one bed here and we have two guests allowed in this particular room uh, bathroom count is one you can say the breakfast price let it be 20 dollars for breakfast do we have any king size bed we have one and we don't have any queen uh, size bed and i go ahead and create that room okay bed count i don't know why this uh did not update create and it's creating and once it's created we have that room added right here with all the amenities images and so on we can also delete this room and amazingly we can also edit it so if we edit let's say it's a single room since we only have one bed and we come down here and we update and once we update you see it's now single room so this is how we'll be adding the rooms and now when i click the view here you'll see that we are having our hotel rooms right here and we can actually book the room which is awesome so now let's see how we can perform a booking all we need to do is to select a date let's say uh, we'll be going on a vacation next weekend so therefore we'll select like that we include breakfast and we click on book a room so we get to this payment form where we'll process payment using stripe so we have the room that we are booking for and also we have the details right here for our booking the amazing thing is that uh, these will actually create a booking but that booking will not be reserved because it is not yet paid for so if i come right here and go to my bookings here i see the bookings i have made 
and it's uh, there are many of them because I have been testing and down here we will also see the bookings that uh, visitors have made on our property so these are the bookings that other people have made on our hotels if we have some okay uh, in this case I have both and you can see this is the one that we are trying to book for mountain motel uh, this is the one that we just created in Afghanistan and you can see it's not yet paid and therefore the room is not yet reserved but we can actually pay now and once we click pay now it will take us back to this form so let's complete payment for this one i'll come right here and i'll give some uh, dummy details then we'll enter a card which is a test card 424242444 any future date and any cvc while we are in this room and we can process the payment these will take some time and you can see payment success if i click on view booking we are back here and now our mountain motel uh, single room it's paid for and that room is now reserved which is awesome if i come right here and we view this one mountain motel and i try to book again you'll see these dates are blocked now because we have reserved them okay so this is the application that we will be creating in this entire course we'll be able to create filters we'll be able to list them upload images uh, we'll be able to work with tailwind css and shard cn for ui we'll work on auth and so much more so in the next episode let's get started with uh, creating this particular application